a lot of times people have talents and like you said, you know, you're born into a naturally, you know, musical family. So you, you know, you're, you're playing a piano and the drums and all of these things, but then you go off to Juilliard and you, you know, some would say you, that's where you get refined. What did you learn? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, tell us. You, you have it in you. It's in you from the beginning. When you go to these places, you're just adding to it. It's, you take the things you like, you leave the things you don't like. And that's the biggest thing that I learned. Stay with the swag and the energy and the spirit of what you came up there with. And I faced a lot of situations where I learned a lot of other situations. I, I, I could tell I was the first version of this type of person that they had seen. And coming into the space, I had to figure out how to be myself without actually breaking down and reforming into what they thought I should be. And, uh, and, and I realized that in, in my journey, and that was the most powerful thing that I could realize, because that's the reason for any success that I've had and success that I will have in the future is that authenticity and sticking to who you are and what you are and taking the good things, you, you know, you can learn, you, you can add a little bit of this, I add, you know, add to a little, little, little taste of something, but it ain't, it ain't about that. When, when we were uh, in break, you were listening to the OJs and, um, you know, I think about the musical influences. I, you know, I was, I was just telling, you know, this, this race is not a race. It's a, but it's a relay race. It's not a marathon or a sprint. It's a relay race. And we are a sum total of the people that have given us the baton to run with. Right. So you got the OJs that you're listening to who else, influence besides the Pokemon and the, <laughs> the video games. Uh, I was playing them too. Yes. <laughs> I mean, my dad, my mother, my, my, my dad was my first musical mentor. My mother, you talk about uh, Alvin Baptiste, who was a, a, a second cousin of mine, late Alvin Baptiste, clarinetist, uh, Ellis Marcellus, you know, the jazz musicians, the older mm -hmm. elders of, the, of, yes. of the community. The daddy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and then of course Stevie, Stevie is uh he's been calling me for my birthday every year f last five years or so, and always helping me to kind of it's my birthday at the end of the year. It's in November, so it's it's almost like New Year's resolution intention setting. We always talk for a long time about like how you feeling, what you want to be doing, what you envision for yourself. I mean, the, for, for me to even be saying that is surreal to me because I was listening to Stevie from from the jump and um mavis staples um she's on the album quincy jones he, he's on the album just people like the the elders of the 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 black diasporic music that have taken it and put it into the popular music that's really the ones that influenced me a lot well when we talk about genres you know like john batiste is jazz is he blues is he you know I, I hate the labels because it's music and labels are for people who can't do it, right? So you gotta, you gotta put something in a box because you don't understand it. Um, when people pick up We Are, what, what is it that you want them to, to feel? Oh my gosh. That's, I love what you just said though, because that's it. I don't believe in genres. I believe in feelings and, and, and culture and people's spirit coming through it. And I hope people feel my spirit and my story and also they feel the 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 greatness of all of the people whose shoulders that i'm standing on um they feel the weight of that lineage and and i just wanted to feel love joy and community you know that's that's it before before you came on we were talking about um reparations and race and and growing up in new orleans ninth ward you got katrina and a host of other things uh historically you know louisiana is that 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 intersection of a lot of things as you know it's, it's haiti it's 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 africa it's french it's it's a lot of things it's gumbo right um how do you define you know because you you're not in a box there's there's no one that can say what john batiste is is this but you you are you're a black man in america so how do you navigate these spaces to to be steve colbert's because that's when you know when you first start doing those commercials with steve colbert's showcase i was like who okay steve i see you got you a black man leader i like that how do you navigate these spaces 
it's so trippy. It's trippy because every year I learn something new about it. I learn something about how to how to how to be a person who's representing so much of 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 the greatness of of what we come from because you inevitably are representing it being in the public figure being in people living room every night being in that space being somebody in movies or something like anything with a platform you have a certain responsibility so i think it's just more about knowledge of self and knowledge of where you come from reading a lot understanding where things were before you got there and where you want to take them because then you have the agency to be like okay well maybe this has never been done or maybe this has never been the case but i want to make it the case for this generation so that then the next generation they have even more options and it just goes like that and there's so many little things it could be very little things it could be wardrobe stuff it could be the way that i'm lit it's the, just little stuff is really the big stuff nuances of the of of being in the public and then just knowing what words you want to say and how to present yourself and how to present what you are all about um and and being authentic to yourself again going back to that initial point i learned when i moved to new york go to juilliard and um with all the great things i learned all the great people i collaborated with i just wanted to be able to express myself honestly and if you don't like it great if you like it great but the priority is to be authentic so those are the kind of the things that i've been learning more and more how to do better and better as the years have gone by well this album is amazing uh comes out the 19th of march uh new single i need you which you just heard uh we're gonna play a little uh from from the album we are on the way out but I want I want to continue to have this conversation with you, John Baptiste. I want you to come back on the show. I, I'm, I, you're fascinating. You're fascinating. I would love that. I will. I would love that. Let me know, and I'll be here. <laughs>